All right. And we're live. Get these walls on. Come on, buddy. Oh, so beautiful. We're gonna check out how Aiden Roberts trains for the hardest boulders in the world. This is a request from the big boss. So we'll see how he does it and see if it's similar or how we train and then we're gonna set my boulder. Uh, what is it? Dragon. Is it standing on the head of the dragon? Well, well, yeah. What, dragon what, head? Dra Somewhere. Dragon something? Dragon. Is that the triumph way? Yeah. It's V10. This guy crush is going to hopefully crush the double digits. Dragon. Let's see. Something like that. It, see, that's the thing about projects is that you know the moves. You know everything about it. You know how to get there. You know what times and temps are good or not. But you don't necessarily remember the name. Huh. It's too many names or ones. Paper Dragon, that's it. Paper so Dragon. Let's watch, let's watch a guy. Oh. Um, let's see. Go so he's to... giving up the on site, that's for now. Uh, I've already tried it. It's dialed, so it's just ready for send go now. I have totally different beta for the top that minimizes a lot of moves and uses different holds of people, so Okay. They seem to all fiddle with the top out a lot. Which is good. So I just need to smash the crux move, which I hit, and then yeah, just together. execute the top yeah. out easy. Hopefully. Um, but it lets. That's a couple of days. Yeah. Hopefully Friday. So let's see. Yeah, let's watch this. All right. The screen. So just a couple mover. Boom. This is kind of the crux right here. Cool. And then the setup, and then okay, I don't cup, I keep the hill, and then you bust. Yeah. Who yeah. is this From here it's done? Uh, I don't know. It's uh, Alex D. Stefano. Shout up, uh, Alex D. Stefano. So let's oh. go back. So there, he's right here. So yeah. here, I'm able to keep the hill. Yeah. And fire. Man, oh, his long off break is cool. So from here, good toe, nice, good into heel, hang on that heel, long arm, long arm. Oh, jeez, man, he's making it hard. He is strong. Yeah. Very nice. And freaking called it, dude. He's done. Let's go. So basically, like here, from here, I get to the jug hold mm -hmm. in like two moves i come into the side pull keep the hold and then bump left hand to that wow okay <laughs> it's really cool is that the crux move that you were talking about no the crux move is oh earlier that this power move right here yeah. okay and just not dabbing <laughs> copy so let's check out this aiden roberts and how he trains the hardest boulders. No. All right. Yeah, here in the boardroom. Yeah, 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 here in the boardroom because uh, training season is upon us. It is is that day. your garage? No. no. I know, but yeah. it looks I have similar. LEDs. <laughs> oh. <laughs> better. Uh, but <laughs> uh, this is probably harder. Um, I. Uh, what was I going to say? Here in the boardroom, but yeah, yeah, here in the boardroom because uh, training season. Is... Oh yeah, training season. So it's August. It's the training season. One month of hard training because uh, pretty much it's too hot <laughs> and everything shut down. Yep. So we got yep. it all cool in here. We got it ready. So we'll be streaming a lot and training a lot and seeing how strong and safely we can get better at climbing. We we got to come up with a stupid climber thing for August, like. You know, so for sure. October and all that type of stuff. Like, mm -hmm. anyways, whatever. Let's go. Ooh. Went and check out. I want to know the specs on his board. I think they've done a thing before, like the measurements, but mm -hmm. 
I wish they would get yeah, that more. It's really hard. I haven't seen really it yet. It's so strong. Other than this. Back. Like this. Like the undercut. Ooh. Get to a point where you like crazy move. Cool. And your face goes Ooh. in your elbow. And you have nice. You got the Beastmaker. The bit of climbing I did when I fell off it. I love the whole, you know, British style of climbing and training. Yeah. It's great. <laughs> and they're boulders, man. It's one of the places I want to climb the most. Is on the stones. is on the grid zone. Yeah, yeah. that's gonna happen soon. I think. I think you do well because you do do well in Joshua Tree. Jerry so, Moffat said he Joshua Tree got him good for climbing the grid zone. Exactly. <laughs> they're they're very two similar oh, look at things. Bark. That has sweet. to be 45, 50. Oh, for sure. Gotcha. Easily. Oh, look at that. Yeah, Dude, yeah. we need a gold <laughs> hole. We need a gold hole. Yeah, back from Switzerland. Long trip to Switzerland. If anyone wants to make this, you know, cool little yeah. hole. Yeah. We got room. We got room on the top. Dude, the top of the kilter board could be for all cool holds. For me. Oh, and we got more projects coming with not just this. So holds are going to be necessary. Also, we got a campus board that we're going to fill. So mm -hmm. things are going to be popping. All right. Out climbing when I got back uh, from Switzerland, went and checked out the project. I had a tip from Hell Bellin, which is. I haven't been paying attention to anything you've been saying. It's really hard. Really, really hard. Hard, hard boulder. Like really quimpy, but like, you can't just do it. He's, there's a lot to pull. He got back from Switzerland and now he's, I think he's looking for a V17 in his local area. There you go. Okay. What do you mean? It's got a hard feel. He's inspired. It's like a very complex. Good. He's ascended. And I've had about five sessions. So, even though I'm not as good, good as this guy, but if you ever project something and you really get into project something, like five sessions is a lot. She's not probably doing five days in a row. You know, he's doing probably a little talk yeah, about that's it over day. Two, yeah, weeks. yeah. So that's a lot of that's a lot of time. Yeah, it feels really hard. And so it's quite cool to like go away for so long looking for these like kind of. Projects that feel next level for me, and then Mike's in chat. Get your phone. Oh, yeah, let me grab that. <laughs> We're gonna stop one second here. Get the chat going. Shout out to the big boss. What's up? Uh -huh. No, that. Oh, it's in Switzerland. Okay. So the V17 that he's trying isn't in. It's on town. <laughs> Let's see what we got. So we got warm up, sundial sit project, making a training boulder, the midnight project, making a training boulder. Okay. So we're going to try that today. All right. All right. Cool. It's like, because usually I'm fingerboarding, I'm like, what am I looking at? But mindfulness is <laughs> Mindfulness. All right. All right. By the way, I'm finding easy on YouTube. I thought you followed me. So I yeah, you. Cool. <laughs> At least the <laughs> So we can estimate by his board. It's probably at least I want to start in 12 feet. New yeah. 8 by 12 looks like ours. Yeah, but it's in England, so it's not in feet. Mm -hmm. Meters. Yeah. Meet us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, man, two by three meters. Oh, that would be sick. I don't know, dude. I don't know what their what their standard board size is over there. Like well, he's at, like he's, at a, he's over. He's over forty. Yeah, he looks like he's, he looks like he's got a fifty, and if he's the same as us, a forty-five. Yeah, for sure, dude. Nice. Hardly boys climb at fifty. Is this warm up? Is it? I guess so. Yeah. Looks about right. Road. Very nice. Can I work? <laughs> I actually think the way you always consistently warm up is a lot into like natural movement patterns. Right. Okay. So this is something that I like that he says is you know the consistent warm up. I'm lucky I live near outdoor climbing and here so I can warm up like with a quick little max hang fingerboard session before I go try a project or something and then re-warm up once I get there. Right. But I'm always going to warm up the same way with my tension block or any type of 20 millimeter to go 10 over millimeter that. edge. Yeah, real quick. Um, well, I just will do, if you don't have anything, just put it on your foot and pull, do some finger glides. And there's tons of videos on that. We don't need to get into that. But I warm up with my block and then hangboard 
and just a max pull. Or if you can't, you the go. old school way, you just pull on holds outside and hold positions <laughs> and slowly get warm and then do a couple easy boulders and then just do it. Always be quite right. slow and controlled in my warm-up problems. And so I'm kind of like trying to introduce a bit of snatchiness in the hope that I'll make the pattern a bit more natural too. Okay, that's another cool thing that he says, snappiness, movement patterns. That's like, those are just your tool belts of movements, like way to move through the rock and up it to either, you know, power it, finesse it, and all these different things. Mm -hmm. That's how this skateboardy part of bouldering feels like to me. Similar. Ooh. And the noises. We need to get the mic near the wall to hear the... <laughs> Sundial. But you know they have that now in the the climbing cups is the like the mics on um, pointed, you know, like in the NFL, like pointed at the climber, so you can hear this the sounds. And what yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, production um, value I, for I, the, when they first started up. doing it, they picked up some awesome language. It was awesome. Yeah. Yeah, Mike, Michael, what's your angle? Twenty v threes. That's insane. Mike's at like forty five. I know, but he did a kilter sesh today, and he did a twenty v threes. Oh, nice! That's freaking, dude, dude. Those are good sessions. That's, that's like v sixty. Come and on, I, I like the train. <laughs> you know, well, he's t talking about limit using the board for a limit boulder training. Yeah. Um, but normally, the board, the great way to train on it safely is just climbing well Don't below your limit. Don't discount his achievement. Who? Michaels. No, I know. That's what v, That's easier for him. That's a soft day. He's just cruising. The dad did sundown. Scouted out the sit start project. It's quite a blind okay. face. There's not loads of features on it. It creates like a really unique sequence that I can't really see. Whoa. So Hold back. You... Nah. That. You kid. What? So you. You know, it's similar to that Adam Andre move from from yesterday, it's, except that Andre was on a pinch, and then he's going to a bump. This guy's going to do this weird understone kick. No, but it's completely different. His stance is off to the side. No, he's bump, pushing it's off. Bump move it, yeah, it's a bump reach. move, but he's stemming. Mm. It's different muscle engagement. That looks he awesome, though. Really yeah. So essentially, mm -hmm. he went stemming into that and, and then coming like out. Slowly, uncut way. And get to a point where you like contour and you like your face goes in your elbow and you have to pop it. It's actually really hard to see in the hold because your like your arm gets in. It's like a very contorted position. It's very shoulder intensive. I thought I'd set a replica to train that shoulder position. So it's more of a because it's so black the real really interesting. You like is it? It's a reverse. And the right hand yeah, back, you like slap it with a straight okay. arm. And because both of the holes are quite flat, you can't like really like dig into them to like kind of move the weight that much. You've got to like basically really load to right tricep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's pushing and this push up, and then he has to reach up for that. Wow. Holy smoke. Good. That's cool. Oh. When you drop down and you rock back into it, you're locking into that underclay. And that's how you can get your hips up. Oh. <laughs> I'm trying to move nice <laughs> I'm, miss I'm missing a trick. It's just going to be a trick, then. The washer's freaking out. Uh. <laughs> I can. So much is trying so hard, it's hard to pinpoint what's your head like. You fall off and you're like, oh. Yeah. Really gonna push into the underclean. The more over the underclean, the better. That's for sure. Ooh, that was good. 
Yeah. Looks like he's got long space and tents in his foot. I wonder how that is. Generally, whenever I make up a boulder, it's always really ambitious. This one doesn't look too ambitious, but they always think that. But already, no, this is coming out. Oh, the stream's coming out right. Mm -hmm. Ooh, tiny, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Moonboard star. Right here. Oh. Yeah. yeah right. Look at that small that thing. That was like a big small mm -hmm. move right there. That was kind of a bit. Ah! Uh, so good though. <laughs> yeah, it does look flat too and barely in cut. Hmm. Okay. That's a good move. It's just like all pinching and then texture. Oh, he's got a dartboard too. Ah! Nice, it's a cork one. Yep. We, we should uh, challenge him in darts. You should challenge him in darts. Yeah. Is that a king? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Love it. Nice frog move. I like his look. He's like, on he's got flip. ears like me. He's got the slip. He's got slip on downturns. Right, but but look yeah. at that bicycle move. That's what I was doing last night. I'm sorry for getting too close to the mic, but oh my gosh, he's bicycling a little pinch. So cool. Ooh, wow. Oh, thank you. It sounds perfect. That's good. Disgusting! Nasty. The new V17. Wow. Wow. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Like, it's not one of the harder problems, but like, it's a hard meme. Yeah. Like, you do it in a second, it can't be that hard. <laughs> Three goes. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. It can't be that hard. Switzerland, midnight. The midnight project. Yeah. It shunned me. First day I ever visited to one of um, the right near the classic object with flower folder. The rocks like almost like polish and flick. And it basically follows a series of these like very narrow gaps. Can't really get your fingers in them so you put the edges of them. So it's like a really finger intensive 30 degree face. I tried it at the start of my first trip there. The trip that I went in autumn when I did out Spain. 30 degree face, okay. Okay, so yeah. I did a bit and like began Tiny to understand ones. some of the moves and um, then knew Dude. at that point that I wanted to go back and like, prioritize that as a project. It's one of the things I was most keen for. I nice. absolutely sieged it this trip. The last like month of my trip, that was pretty much my sole focus. Very nice. That looks dope. Wow. There it is. Man. Is it sandstone? And um, ultimately, what? Uh, oh, oh, the kind of easy bit at the end. Oh, kind of oh. But there's a lot. Fell on the V two. Yeah, it's classic. I've been there. Mm -hmm. Man, happens Applied. to the best. Happens to the best. You do all this climbing, and then you get to the slab. Happens to everybody. Dun dun dun. You need your boys there too. And the maybe in one more bit when I fell off the easy section of the top. 
probably was the hardest section of climbing I've done. My replica uses pretty much all of these. What? Um, Whoa! Full on with Hold on. This is sick. Uses pretty much all of these. Dang! Look at that blocker. Wonder what wow. brand bolt that is. Interesting. Um, apart from you pull on with a bolt. Wow. A really close foot. Two things that I think we need to go again today. Now that I have little holes on my board. Coffee. And that's on a 30 degree overhang. And it's high from bad heel. I actually think this might be really hard. <laughs> He's stopping me from then bump again into it. And then you do the other sequence. Take a cup, put your foot way out there, and then lock it down. Sorry. Then you do the other sequence. Yeah, the B2 top out. So, it's probably like B10. Generally, <laughs> you know them way too hard. I'm pretty sure it's way too hard. I think you're making one up now, and like, uh, I have like some shoulder strength in mind. Um, so I have like an obvious like shoulder move that I had, they had two equally angled edges, and I thought like a wide move into this would be quite good, quite comfy holes. And then I had a move in mind earlier, I thought it would be cool to uh, take a big swing on this quite good hold and I thought um because it's quite positive quite good. Um, and it, there's quite a few options around for like harder versions when it, if I, it's too easy or like I want like a slightly harder version of it and then I like kind of was like oh I've had that move in mind I had this move in mind and I like I've kind of created a problem which I think looks kind of like interesting moves and maybe different to other problems I have sometimes it's helpful not to tell people your plan and then when you realize it's way too hard for you Something that awesome to point out. He does have a little one, but no to kickers. No kickers. Mm -hmm. No kickers on his other board. Just that little tiny one, but he probably had to do that for the angle spacing to be correct and all that type of stuff. Mm. That's there you go. Mm. No kicker. Nice. <laughs> How ambitious you be. He's ambitious. Yeah. Yeah, Michael pointed out the important thing that Aiden said was uh, replicas are normal are normally set harder than the actual pro project. Mm. All right. That's actually a really that was... good point. Yeah, so I'll incorporate that. This one is good Wow. I wanted that move, but so basically, I don't want to just sack up that move, but. I feel like I can like make a progression into it by like choosing a different right hand that kind of like maybe like breaks and move into two a little bit and I can work to progress from that one. Did they beat you on? That's good. Ah, That's still quite hard. And that was his easier version. Mm -hmm. mm. Uh. Ah! Oh, that's you pretty close. Keep it trying to roll over to the middle. That'd be silly. I just really want to see him throw a dart, to be honest. Right? <laughs> like, I really wonder how his dart game is. Does it translate from bouldering to precision? <laughs> Oh, the most wow. ultimate moonboard cross ever. What? Yeah. Oh. Ah. Wow. Really? How? How oh. was he able to hold that swing? 
snappy, snappy. Oh, whoa. Yeah, well, yeah, 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 you <laughs> dissipated <laughs> through your legs, but that was, that's that. amazing. Ah, let's get down. Let's get down. Come on. What's that? And then he throws it back. Oh, uh, yeah, so Alphane right hand. Where Alpine had by me eight or nine, or before, how much? Like, yeah, the easier climb. Just a few more sure. seconds. This one has like fifty. All right. Well, Michael, thank you for uh, for for showing us that. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Um, What's your takeaways? Well, we were just gonna chill today, but let's climb. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, away. he's the super stuff. I'm gonna try to make a harder move than. The paper dragon crux, which would be setting up some type of a core heel hook move on that holds to a good hold. Did you say you already you were going to set one or you did set one? No, I think I was like trying to pick out some holds, but maybe I was thinking like trying to use both boards to set one. Okay. But we'll see. I'm gonna try to do it on the tension board too, but if it doesn't work out. And I can't find something quite right, maybe we'll incorporate both boards. There you go. So um, now, my takeaway from how Aiden Roberts trains for hard bouldering projects is a uh, really good thing that he has a home wall that he can just kind of session out and everything like that. But my God, his finger tension is a beast. This is just one part of his like training regiment, yeah, obviously. But but this is probably a very important thing is hard sessions on his home wall or on, on a session board that he can mimic the project itself. And from what I've heard from other climbers and whatnot, that is also a very important thing in their regiments too. Yeah. Oh look, so he Mike said that he's done he's flashed a ton of old school schoolroom D twelves and thirteens for strength reference, so Jeez! So his schoolroom one, his flashing max hard flash. That's crazy. Chad G did the second ascent from the low on the rail pool. So Mike's saying paper dragon. If you start at the OG way, you start. Um, uh, you start. So I do it. Let's see this video. Let's watch one more video. Shout outs to this guy. He has a cool video. Uh, Richard, Richard Farb, man, dude. I like because he shows some uh, in. I like that he shows some up close of the hold. So this will help us. We really can. I don't do it that way. I have. I don't do the cross hand. It doesn't feel that good. Okay. I think he eventually doesn't do cross. Hand. Let's see. Paper dragon. Everybody who's taking video, if you're gonna take a big panic so, shot like that, you better saying, have a fast shutter rate. You Go start ahead. like lower on the rail. You start lower? Yeah. What I do, yeah, okay. and then fire. How in cut are those? Uh, the thing is, they're they're okay, it looks like to be a white but they're pitch. like super glassy. Got they're me. that glassy patina. Yeah, it's really hard to get a bite on it. Oh, yeah, he smacked his elbow. I did that same thing. I over that's when you overpower the move, yeah. but when you know you can do that, then you know you can do the move because then you it's between the overpower. And not just quite enough, but if you can do, if you can pull that when hard. You're overpowering, you're kicking your elbow wood. Yeah, so yeah. That's what I knew. If you do the move. Mm, that's hard. Sick. Oh, oh, oh! It doesn't dab. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> so good. So here I come in right hand to a side pull and just bump left. Instant, instant finish. Yeah, it's totally different than what everybody's doing. Everybody's oh, what up, Coach Cole? Yo, what's up? 
Sup, coach? We, uh, cool. There it is. There it is. So, let's get warmed up. Well, my takeaway from that one is don't hate your elbow. That, yeah. And have no, some that cool music that playing. Cool video. Let's see. Doo -doo -doo. Um, there we go. I need more water. All right. Let's get some music. Dream save. All right. Figure it out, baby. Figure it out. She holds this problem. I think it's like. Man, we're in just horrible live, just dead air, just, ter just terrible. I'm just standing here trying to figure out what I want to warm up on. I'm not even like stretched out or anything like that. It's just absolutely not entertaining. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, this one is a V1 called Cats. Um, hold on. Yes, yeah, there it is. Okay. Is the last? Oh, oh yeah. Do so, so. something that you can't do on YouTube. 
I know you did 20v3, but you know, you know, calls. You know, okay. Uh, huh. got the uh, attention, sent me a sticker and the light cap that's missing. Oh, there you go. See, it's all about lights, you know. No light over here. So now at least, uh, now at least, we're standing over here. You can see it's just with that big little glow. Very haunting. Very haunting. All right. Getting body ready be free. Um, I I I've been trying to on your big boss profile on the kilter board. I can't like see like your sets and whatnot. I only got a couple of things. Um, when I get a chance, I'll go back to it and show you. You know. More than likely, it's just because I'm an idiot. I don't know how to use the app yet. So. <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> All right, so you're doing your isometric holds, right? Is is that what it's called? Static static is isometric, I think. Oh, uh, 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 uh giant rock cold. Oh. Coach Cole's trying to get a hold of you. He's saying, John, John, go ahead and type if you need. I just typed the name of the problem. John, what? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, Cole. Me. Yeah. Um, Do you even read chat, bro? Um, <laughs> yeah. We try to read what chat. Are you but it's no, like sorry, man. You're supposed to be monitoring it. Where's your chat? Read out the chat. Yeah. Uh, hold on. Okay. Which app is better, Mike? Um, for it's me. Same app. Same company. It's the same company. Yeah, he makes it's just one app. The same company. Like no the way. developer in the app store. Oh wow. Okay. Well, I like the Kilter app better thus far. Um, I like the tension board functionality better. If that's the case, uh, but the uh, Kilter app uh, seems to upload and function a lot, a lot smoother. Um, and that's actually when I've used the tension board at one other gym. Um, yeah. The. Yeah, it could be better. They need to add the AI map. Uh, yeah. The AI uh, root setter. Maybe, yeah, AI root setter. You just pick a hole and then it sets it right off. 
but it's apparently, an end pulse. But apparently the tension board is just like uh, the app takes a long time to uh, to save your sends and stuff. Like, yeah, that's kind of problem. Like thirty seconds, or you know, or so, which is you know server ind indicative of server issues, which is back end stuff. So that's concerning. Um. Yeah, the, uh, so the functionality, Cole, of the tension board is better. I'm going to call you giant. No, I'm going to call you coach. Functionality of that coach um, of the tension board is better because it's symmetrical. And you can um, do a climb and flip it and reverse it. You know, flip it, do some Missy Elliott stuff to it. And uh, train right, train left. Um it has a it has a lot more uh, variety of holds with the wood and the plastic. Um, it for for your for the Hardy Boys, uh, Hardly Boys, for the Hardly Boys, the uh, the holds, all the uh, the tight crimps and everything is definitely much more engaging for you. But you know. For me, I'm kind of on the kilter level right now, so uh, yeah, yeah. Have you tried the the tension yet? No, he won't come over. He's scared, dude. He's scared. He's scared. Yeah, that's it's. Uh, I'm like, well, I'm not sure if you're talking about a long time in terms of like the delay. It's like two minute delay between like chat and what we actually can read. So. I'm sorry, be patient. So I bought a brand new TV. Uh, no, it's the... <clears throat> if we had like a disc... No. You see more. You bought a brand new TV. It's taking an hour and a half for it to load up the menu settings and everything. We got a new TV. Cole? Yeah, coach. What? What'd you get? What'd you, what, what'd you get? What'd you get? What'd you get? Like a Samsung? What are they on? Like the 19 5000 or something? Like, what the fuck? Oh, the app being laggy. Yeah, the app's pretty laggy. Yeah. What? What is it like a Samsung app for your TV? It's our new warm up basketball. Yeah. I'll get you warm. I got it. You, you want? I got it. Can't do one. Here we go. Look at my skills, dude. Uh, it just seems like a small ball. I, mean, I can't believe this is regular. Yeah. There we go. Somebody has some centrifugal skills. Dude, I am no. Who wrote those basketball? It's in the anime. No, it is so good. Who wrote those basketball? Dude, I tried not to watch it, but then it finally came in. And it was so good. All right. Loud tab. I brought brand new. Let's see. LG John, get the 70 inches. That's two. Like whoa. Whoa. Text me. Uh, text me the link. I can't handle Giant 70 inches, man. I can't two, handle 70 inches. Two HDMI inputs. That's it. Isn't that? What? Are you supposed to use is, a Doesn't it? it? Why? Hmm. All right, so hold the edge, slide elbow there. All right. Yeah.
Oh, I'm just being schooled on right here. <laughs> you can't even see the camera, but he's it's like, hey, what a big take up in here. You're my Gallon Iverson. And I'm holding 25 pounds with my fingers, or else I would feel like, ah! it's like this. Just let me draw your context. <laughs> Uh, what was that? I own yucca. I own yucca quartz. Uh, Alright. Hello. Do that again. New TVs. New TVs. In the market, I'm on 70 inches. Wall of TVs. Dude, I remember selling a 70 inch TV for $65,000. What if? Uh, oh, what if it was the five holes on the TV? Makes me too much. But the five holes on the TV. It's a whole wall to LED where the holes are. Oh, like well, the TV, you know? Okay. I see a projector that, like, plexiglass wall. Oh, there you go. Holds on. Yeah, yeah. And then you can put the screen on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's ways to do it. And it makes sense. Over. Then would it be worth it? You're a billionaire. Yeah. Elon Musk gets into climbing, dude. The Tesla wall will be the first one. It actually it's a battery. Yeah. I, I hope he doesn't get it. <laughs> we don't need another big ego in climbing. I love Musk, but man. Come on. Alright, you're warming up? Yeah. I'm warming up. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, I can I can I can only ever dunk with one hand. The professor beat the principal. <laughs> Giant rock. Cool. Let's go to the let's go to the court, dude. Tomorrow. And uh shoot some hoops. Alright, that was Mike, it. you should go watch the story of the N1 on YouTube. It's so good. What is that? The story of N1. Oh yeah. Should definitely do that. N1 Sports. All right, this is another V1. Roman Road. I haven't tried yet. Okay, so I just F8. It is fa. Ha. All I do is fa. All I do is fa. Keep my lane hands. This apparently is Roman Road, straight at the middle. I love, I love for a giant rock slide top line after that. Yeah, but get it get more sense. What created it? Who pulls an artist? He's the Banksy of setting, he says. Banksy of setting? Yes. Really? Yes. Really? timing so sick <laughs> thanks Paul. damn so cool like a full-size gym dude we even got the box for the shorties yeah dude we got the, the one box. i just did was bb warm-up i slipped so i made it look hard i just sent it both ways pretty good i call it b1 plus what else we got 
Yeah. yeah. So Roman Road was all right. And uh yeah, smooth. I'll try it though. What was the uh Okay, what was Cole's climb? Uh, pump line. Uh, I don't see it. Uh, are you on adjustable angle? Uh, no, I'm on. Oh. Yeah, you need to be on that, maybe. Huh. Right, look up giant rock center. I can't find yours. left of sin is another old classic lefty mcleferson you know how to find him i i did find him and i didn't find and, uh, okay getting body ready all right michael i'm gonna try to find yours getting body ready on here all right Okay, I'm in the search function, and I'm on climbs. Getting the... What was it? Getting body ready or getting the body ready? Or getting... Getting body ready. All right. Yeah. Okay. So, that one did show up. That's oh, I'm not sure if you upped it. Somebody else did, but it says V4. No. Still. No way. This is this looks hard. Stilts view. One at 25 degrees. Hard to Is it spice? Oh, I yeah. got this one, yeah. Looks stupid. He did this barefoot? Me? Yeah. That's the V9 barefoot. Yeah, it got upgraded. Haha. <laughs> nice. So sandbag, they get upgraded. What? You guys are fucking crazy. You nutters. Nutter nutters. That was nuts. The beta on that's really cool. That's uh. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, dude. Skip and hold. Skip and hold to get tots. Be better. If I skip holds, I'm gonna do. Yeah, I came off. Go on to this one. Okay. Move to here. I know what the rest of the movement is. Anybody ready? Sick. Mike, yeah, I got upgraded. Good burn. Come on. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. That's a cool one. It's really cool. Coach, 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 coach. Oh, I gotta find yours though. B zero is more of my rage right now. The last cross move did kind of like irritate my TFCC right here a little bit. It's the functional. But this time without the grunt. Without the grunt. <laughs> yeah, Michael, I'll try not to burn myself out on it. Um, but it is a good climb, and I do want to continue on it. So, with your advice, I'm going to hit. Why did I lock my phone? Log attempts. What was that? That was 3 3 because I tried out the ending. Okay. I gotta find yours, Cole. Where did my life cut out? Yeah, also Michael. I'll, I'll text in chat. See what sucks is that we can't like talk back on the chat on the live stream on the computer. I don't know why. Yeah, well the people want it and it read out what they say and then answer the question. Well yeah, but I mean So 
dumb. Dumb. The streamer's dumb. Dumb. Speaking of dumb, this one looks really dumb. All right, here's the potential paper dragon set. Oh, potential. Okay. And this one is a random B3 orbit. The new track drops. I should have gone. I shouldn't have gone for the last order. I knew it as I was doing it. Uh, um, Michael, actually, I mean, your stuff preferably, but anything if you can. Beta fish, subtract the broom, subtract the beer or bear, broom, pinchy cheeks are all great. All right. Let's try beta fish. All right. What? That's it? That's your set? I think so. Well, it depends on like, how you, there's a couple ways to do the cards, but that's, that's pretty good. So I'm going to change this to blue. Blue. Alright, let's pay the fish. B3. That's recommended by Michael.
got my knee up on that one. It's all, uh, it's all red. Probably gonna bleed. Beta fish. Yes. Oh, it's perfect. So close. It's perfect. I think I got a really accurate paper dragon. Let's see it up here. Harder. Thanks, Mike. Yeah, dude. I can't wait for you to try it. Climbing ah. like Aiden Roberts. Huh. Where's that brush? Brush. So weird when the like motion light outside just turns on. Yeah. Now a fly probably triggered it or a moth or something like that. Oh shit! I gotta do fade a fish. I'm gonna give this another try. Oh, it still has some Celsius powder in here.
the good three. Thank you for the recommendation, Michael. That's really good. Log Ascent. Three stars. Definitely a harder V3. Attempts. Dulce attempts. All right. What is the next one you have recommend? Hey, thank you, Michael. Thank you for the nice footwork. All right, let's see. What else did you have on that list here? Subtract the bear is next. Come on. Oh. Hey, just like in real life, no dabbing. You gotta hold that one. Okay. 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 I see what you're doing. There. Okay. Thanks, Mike. All right, I'm gonna rest. I'm gonna rest just a tidbit and then try out subtract the bear. It does. It does hurt me a little bit when I can't flash the threes, but I gotta keep on telling myself this is kilter board, man. Like it's not gym. Yes, kilter board is not like moon board, fucking sandbag, but. It's still sandbag compared to gyms, you know. Um, I guess it's real life. Wait, wait, you look at it. Oh, oh, oh! It's pulling something out of the out of the doldrums. Out of the doldrums and the darkness comes. Filter flag. There it is. Keep it up. Keep it up. Hold on. Dude, I want to go at me at like a music festival, and this is my totem. <laughs> See, they give you banners, dude. But a kilter bar, it's what they gave me. People will misconstrue that in like to like whatever they want it to say. I know. Dude. Like kilter or no no mustache man or killer, you know, stuff like that. He's just ruining his own stuff. He's not allowed to ruin anything of, like, his own stuff, by the way. He's bad. <laughs> uh... I take the shirt off for the real set. Oh, he's getting serious. He's getting serious. Gotta brush it with this brush. Big ol' big ol' biggie. Summon the power. You got the big ol' biggie. Yeah. That's a big ol' boar's hair brush. Can you see that again? Wow, that's it. Man, that's like two boars. That's, that's a lot of hair, man. Good bacon, though. Come on. Yeah. Nice. 
They press more against the wall. Definitely. It's just too swingy. Definitely. But here's the thing I was gonna say. If you made it in that attempt, you're gonna have to make it harder. Well, I mean That's what I was gonna say. Well, you're supposed to make it harder than the actual problem, right? Oh, I know, but have you tried the problem? No, 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 so, no. Yeah, I'm saying no. I almost set the problem. So, yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah. Accurate. yeah, it's accurate. I was, I was trying to make like a meme out of it and a joke, you know? Uh, like, 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 you know, you sent it too little of a ghost. It needs to be harder. It needs to be harder. <laughs> I, that's what I'm saying. It's hard enough right now. It's fine. It's fine. I'm you verbal shit, man. Verbal shit. Come on. I can barely be the free from the for it. I've no room to stop. But I still am. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Clean like wooden hole. Uh, just a little like I think just a little light sandpaper. Really? Okay. That's a little like. That's pain in the ass. All right. All right. Oh. Just subtract the bear v3 by Steven97. Wonder what year he was doing. Thank 
Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good V3. Soft V3. 6A. It says 6A on your right. Say 6A as well. And definitely three stars. No, that was a good one. A lot of crossover move. Woo. Okay. Oh yeah, 45 walls more sandbag angle. It is pretty. Room. All right. The next one Michael has recommended is Varoom. This one looks really cool. Oh, come on, focus camera. There it is. V3, Jackson, Jolton. 6A. Cool. Oh, left to right. Hold that. Huh? Cool day. That oh. takes me two tries an hour to get it. Takes me three years. Uh, the first second. All it was was just where you where you contacted. That was it. Well, you know, but they don't. You can't see that. No, it's just definitely that was only contact box. No, come on, yeah. See you flash a bike. good one yeah another good classic you're you're killing it with your recommendations really appreciate that Ah. Uh, 
All right, last one from Michael that he's recommending is Pinchy Cheeks are all great. Oh, those are two different climbs. There's Pinchy Cheeks. Nice. From Nebula. Five, two, four. Is my radio voice annoying? Uh, no, it's good. Yeah, Nebula. Five, two, four. College radio. Welcome to the Boss FM. Red Bull. Oh, I might send. Oh, I might no. send. Juneberry. Oh, no. Juneberry. Yeah, you're going to be that. Like be that where I can just like fall asleep. Red Bull. Make a decaffeinated Red Bull. Make something that tastes like normal Red Bull, and one that is sugar-free. That tastes like sugar-free Red Bull. That also has a really good taste decaffeinated do it it doesn't add too much to the flavor because people have done it i have done it <laughs> do it like they're fucking watching like i'm all like announcing to people that red bull is watching i want to comment He found a Red Bull in the fridge, hidden one, didn't know it happened. It split. 9.47 at night. And that was like two minutes ago. Done. That's my buddy. Yeah. How you do it? What? No. Okay, I think that's harder than the other uh, 6A V3s, the soft, but it's rated at 6A. I'm going to say 6A+. plus. Um, that first move, definitely, that, that first pinch off to the left, don't really need it. But um, if I'm putting it at 6A+, plus, I don't know if it's three stars, though. But I don't know if it would be three stars even if I put it at 6A, though. The movement just isn't there. It makes you do one heel hook. Or not one heel hook, but uh, it would make a normal person do one heel hook or and, and one flag. No, I don't even think my back flag worked. No, it's two stars, but it's hard. It's at 6A+. Plus. Come on. 
Come on. Nine. Come on. Come on. Yes, 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 yes. Oh no! <laughs> Uh, 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 uh. Let's go. It's gonna go next go. Let's go to go. That's going. The Red Bull. The Red Bull is healthy. Red Bull is. <laughs> is the Red Bull cheating? I think Red Bull's cheating. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> um, yeah, it's kind of like a slow burn. It's like, uh, angles down like that. Okay, that's yes. a sick moment. I, I like the bicycle. Yes! The bicycle got me. Yes. That looked really good. All right. <laughs> I decided I'm going to try V5. This is, the most, uh, this is the most tried V5 on Angel Eyes on this kilter board. On the style. The kilter board. Uh, <coughs> Jackie 0101 is center by Angel Eyes. V5. I'm going to try it shoeless. Oh man, we spoiled something about the small. Not all of it. YouTube keep on closing out the app on my phone. I don't like that. This is the pan. There we go. Yeah, the beta for the soft uh, V5s would be nice, but uh, 
I, I'm definitely am one of those people that sometimes I do like to figure it out. But uh we'll see. We'll see. Um I'm not I'm not a total beta freak. My guys. Beta male. Go for purple next. Beta max. Yeah, it is. It looks dope. The freaking movement looks amazing. You should definitely save that and try to publish it. Yeah, ready. Actually. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah. It's final four. He's gonna publish it. It's posted. <laughs> That's gonna be rad to do it the opposite way, dude. said The other good thing about public restrooms is that you don't even have to touch anything. So hands stay clean. Also, my hands are dirtier than what is going on down there anyway. 
not touch it with my hand. That, that's the thing that a lot of things that bark. If anything, you should fucking wash your hands before you go to the bathroom. Yes! Yes! <laughs> a lot of people don't realize everything you're touching with your hands freaking so much dirtier than something that hasn't touched anything. Maybe been fermenting for a little bit. That's it. to find something easy to warm down on. On the Kilter app, there is 5A for V1 and then 5B for V1. I'm going to go to 5B. Only look in 5Bs and just look at the best one I haven't found yet, which is the third one on the list. This one's called Roko Forest by Joe Jaff Rain. That's yeah. Let's see what's up with that? And I have no idea what was going on with the sim behind me.
he had had to set that. It had to be set by a child. Those bowls are not as good as they look. Oh, I dried fire too. I'm just going to start from the middle, do the fun moves in the middle, and then go from there. That dry firing, I, not, not about that at the end of the session. Oh, you're saying try Daisy first? All right, I'll try Daisy. I'll try Daisy. It's Daisy. B4, 6B. I'm trying to I'm trying to cool down, man. Oh man. You know, I, I heard a, a a streamer once say, a famous streamer, a Ludwig, Ludwig in the chat, and he's like, I guess there's two different like types of people who handle the chat. Some of them are like you know where where you know the streamer is like god he's like the best at gaming and everything like that and then the other one is adversarial and i've always felt like yeah if i was somebody that was a streamer or anything i would definitely the, the chat would definitely try to put me down as much as possible and i'm it's starting yeah I, i'm already seeing it starting Wait, 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 hold on. It's not the easiest beef. I've tried Daisy first. I think you'll try one. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, okay. No, on here at 45, it still says it's V4. So I don't think that's a that's considered a V5 yet. Yeah, yeah. Um. I'm still trying it because you suggested to me, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, I got you. Oh, are you? You're a Twitch troll. So I've never gone on the Twitch, but I'm I'm a YouTube like fanatic. So Twitch is filtered over to YouTube like freaking crazy, and uh, and Ludwig's amazing. The OTV cast is amazing. Um, uh, uh, the other, you know. Like all that type of stuff, and also you gotta you, you gotta stay in touch because that's what's in vogue right now. Actually, hold on, look at the alert. I just got an alert from a Ludwig like update thing. Uh, uh, but YouTube's crazy because I don't even have alerts turned on on his channel. I have alerts turned on on many other channels, but his gets alerted to me and others don't, and that's starting to piss me off. Anyways, all right. I chit chatted enough. Time, time for me to try this uh, heinous V4 Daisy 6B. I, I, I'm saying heinous. I ain't tried it. start whoa okay that starts that starts 
hates Alaska, man. Totally hates underwear. I am done for the evening. That is, uh, that is absolutely Haynes, Alaska, heinous, Haynes underwear. I am not Michael Jordan right now. I am not going to wear that Haynes. Uh, jeez. Oh, yeah, you, you used to be watching, uh, uh, speed runs. Yeah, speedruns are really cool. Um, I mean, the the whole thing about uh, especially glitching out all the original game ROMs. Uh, it's it, it fascinating that we didn't figure that out back in the day. Like say, like Pokemon speedruns, like the blue speedruns, like thirty two seconds or something for Pokemon Blue. What? You gotta be kidding me! That's insane. I'm gonna turn that. Oh. oh man, that was a. Uh... These boards are awesome. Wait for you to type. I'm gonna do something. Not allowed on YouTube. Oh. What was it? You know you're old when you make noises when you sit down. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been old since I was seven. Okay. Back to YouTube. Uh, all right. So that guy that was selling, you know, hand carved stone, you know, stuff. It's like 35 bucks. It's a I think it's made out of felt spar. Um this one's actually really cool looking. It's brown. Has a lot of uh um like crystalline lines in it. Oh, that's gonna blow it out, huh? Uh, you can't really see it. It's uh a little bit. It has some crystalline lines and the brown and when it's like uh you know, rinsed off. It has a lot of shit buoyancy to it. It's really cool. Um, yeah. Oh wait, you speed ran yellow? Like, like straight up? Like, did you do it on like your Game Boy Color or what? See, yellow was really interesting. I never had yellow. I only had blue. And. Um, Man, I played the freak out of that. It was the only game I was allowed to have as, as I was a kid. Um, was Game Boy games. Because uh, I bought the Game Boy myself. Uh, game Boy Color. Actually, I bought the Pocket when it first came out. And then I bought the Color when that first came out. The Bambi Purple See-Through Purple one. Um, I still have both of those. And, uh, and then later on in life, after I graduated high school... And everything on the road was another Bambi Purple Game Boy Color in better condition than my current Bamboy Bambi Purple Game Boy Color. So I have two of them now. Oh, you're a GameCube player. Do okay. Did you do you load up ROMs or is it like a is it like this mini CD ROM thing? I never got into Game GameCube. Obviously, from my previous statement, and uh, um, I know it had internet access, 
Like, does it still have, like, internet network access capabilities? Like, is that still even supported? That stuff's fascinating to me, because here's the thing. Our whole life's internet connected. Everything's starting to become internet connected. Um, our, our childhood toys are starting to become unusable because they're not supported on the back end. And uh, that's actually a concern, um, a big concern for me when it comes to everything else. Because I love refrigerators that last 30 years. I love uh, washing machines and everything that lasts, you know, multiple decades. Uh, so that's going to be a problem. My, my red PV is slightly lower, but I believe since it is an easier run. Man. Well, yeah, it's going to be... It's going to be a different personal best because it's, you have to, I mean, yeah. Okay, okay, so you have the, the attachment that sits on top, the thing that it, that, that actually attaches. And, uh, and you can put the original cartridge in there. Oh. Um, man, I wish I could find my silver. Silver was fun. Um, it probably... If I remember right, last time I played my silver, it didn't save. So I think there was something wrong with it. But I know my blue cartridges, my blue cartridge, and I think I have a red cartridge. I think they both save. Um, those are starting to become, you know, like very, very scarce. I don't know. I don't know if I would want to get an emerald or anything like that. I think if I ever invested time into playing Pokemon again, I'd keep it to silver or or blue and red. Blue and red just seem too too easy now. Silver's cool because um they added a lot more stuff. It still has it still has the original blue and red gameplay and functionality. It's not super crazy with all the new Pokemon and knowing the different types going against different things and whatnot as your average game player. It's a lot more approachable. It's a lot more able to save, put away for a month or two and pick up or a year or two and pick up. Um, and then once you're done with the original region or with the uh, with the silver or gold region, you go over to the original region. And uh, what's funny is I never got a chance to do that. I didn't know that that was a functionality when I was a kid. And uh, and as soon as somebody told me that, it was long after, like, after I lost interest. And I never got to do that. And I picked it up again. I'm like, oh, let me see. And it wasn't saved. And I was really, I was really mad. Oh, you still have your gold copy still? Dude. Dude, 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 dude. Is it, did you, is it like original or did you buy it recently? Wait, you did? Original? Like, I, I gotta stop asking things where it's just like two, two, two answers to the question. Uh, because uh, the original one, I know that they changed something in re-releases. If they like later on, like like when they're selling it like a year later. Um, but I know the original, the first line, like what I had and what you had, had okay, yeah, had something different in it that is like coveted now. When when I go and search for it. I guess that's what makes, you know, those the more expensive ones versus the other ones. So I lost a really nice thing, apparently. I don't know where it went. I don't know. My house burnt down. What can I do? Right? I lost everything. I lost so many other things. So it doesn't it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Uh, you just start remembering things. And it's just like, OK. Um, but I still have my purple, and I still have my purple Band Boy, purple Game Boy, and I still have my blue cartridges. Yeah. 
do you have a spare silver or gold or anything like like i wouldn't want to try to play one that is uh like like your only copy yeah yeah okay yeah no definitely you know i you know what i need to do i just need to download the rom for my phone i'm dumb if i really want to play it because what am i gonna do bust out my game boy purple my game boy color with no backlight on it i wish i had a game boy advanced the backlight on that was clutch and the rechargeable battery yeah that was the two things about the about the uh about the Game Boy Color is that it had the double A's, which though it made it comfortable in the hand. That little bump on the back made it super comfortable in the hand. But then you have to have a freaking headlamp or that, that stupid weird attachment with the magnifying glass, which I swear to God, one of the reasons why my glasses are so thick, I swear to God is because of that attachment, was the light and the magnifying glass and just holding it up like this, just like so i i i would love to borrow your gold copy but not your only copy i don't i don't like to to do that with people um i really appreciate it oh yeah you had one yeah you broke it you used it all the time i bet i bet you use that magnifying glass thing all the time it's just it was too good the triple A's or the double A's that we would run through, like literally the long packs you can get from Costco, like, what is it? Like they would always sell it in some crazy odd number, like, oh, here's 57 triple A's for, for some God awful price. And, uh, and every, every week, <laughs> every week, new, new triple A's. That and my CD player. CD players, man. With that anti-skip function. Oh, how many seconds is here? Oh, two seconds, three seconds. Oh, 30 seconds. What's funny is that people don't realize is that when you have a anti-skip CD player that had multiple seconds, that's principally you have an mp3 player it's just pre-recording what is being played and then playing it back digitally like you essentially we had essentially mp3 players although they had very short memory very early on we just called them cd anti-skip cd players See, yeah, the GameCube, that's a smart one to have and keep around and keep up. Um, because you can play all the N64 games, you can play all the all the uh, uh, Game Boy games, the original Tetris, the original stuff, and, uh, and on your TV. Like, really, with friends, comfortable, relaxing. It actually makes the living room useful again. Yeah, no, the GameCube is definitely clutch to have with all the attachments. That's nuts. Do you have the network attachment for it? Interesting, that still worked. Who are you talking to? Oh, Mike? Michael. Oh, yeah. yeah. We're talking about, you know, gaming, GameCube. Uh, stuff. Gaming, baby, gaming, yeah. I, I, I tried that behind me, and I'm like, I'm done! Yeah, I'm done. Oh, uh, that was good. Good practice, though. Oh yeah, I no. I kind of tuned up for the, for the for the project. Do you feel ready? Yeah, it's kind of nice to like crack your make set of older and feel pretty confident. You said similar to you. Definitely can feel some of the tension. I'm trying to go. Yeah. Which is that's really good. Yeah. That that heel hook pulling up in, making that clutch, and then getting that body position to bump into that side pull. Yeah. That those are all very like key things just to have motion memory. Yeah, like try hard here. Right. <laughs> yeah. Right. Tension. But but right. it's not just try hard there, but it's the motion memory so you can just flow into it. Mm -hmm. It's not necessary that it's try hard. That's true. Right. Yeah. Focus oh. hard more, right? Right. Well, 
um it's that practice uh so you don't have to think about it you can just execute it mm -hmm. that's what i'm going for right yeah right that's i the, think that's the point of right that's right setting thing. the simulator yes and the benefit of it is that it does make you stronger in those particular areas if you train it if you set it harder or set it on on, on force mm -hmm. yeah i might seen a giant black man i tried to smash by a wasp oh yeah uh, so he he came he came to me well i i like i noticed that the thing i asked him and he's like oh yeah and i guess when he was up north of montana he freaking got a bug bite up there in a field with cows and I'm like oh dude like and i was like he's like and i was like there was did you kind of like anything it's like no i just got a bug bite whatnot so i'm thinking he didn't notice it it looks like something to be too much to be a mosquito and i'm like oh that's a nasty tick bite like he may have got a bite on the tick the tick was in the sun and it was hot and it just let go because they like shady areas that does happen so um kind of freaking him out a little bit and then our our friend that we were with and whatnot was like don't freak him out and everything and then he went over the story he went like this he was like ow and went like this and went like that and i'm like oh well, there isn't a stinger in there, so it's probably a wasp bite. So, a wasp sting. Yeah, he got tagged. He got tagged hard. Yeah. But it's been a couple of days now. And it's still, like, it's not a full-on re allergic reaction, but it's a reaction. So, that... Yeah, it just doesn't make sense with a with a wasp sting though. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I know, I'm scared. This is going down. Wait, am I? All right, we out. Yeah, are we done? Yeah, we done. We'll be back whenever people make more climbing videos for us to talk about. All right. Tomorrow. Well, actually, <laughs> hopefully be back and he'll have sent yes and we could talk about the send video yeah <laughs> cheers